Is that a weapon in your hand? You're happy to see him. Are you out of your mind? I'm sorry, okay? I apologize. Honestly, I didn't intentionally mean to jump out of the plane. Oh, of course not. You were just standing in a plane with the door open and a parachute wrapped around your body. I was standing in the plane with the door open and a parachute because you were there and I was trying to prove a point. You were trying to scare the life out of me. You know, for a man who is so concerned about his wife's health, you have a very funny way of showing it. It's not fair. No, it's not fair for you to jump out of a plane, Tad. I felt so helpless. I just had to stand there and watch you fall and pray that the parachute would open before you hit the ground. Do you know how terrified I felt? Yes. Absolutely. That's the point I was trying to make. Because from the moment you told me you were pregnant, that's exactly the way I felt. Oh, you cannot compare the two situations. You don't think so? Honey, come on, you want to talk about intentionally risking your life? You had four doctors tell you over and over again, any sign of back pain could mean kidney failure. Not good for a person with a history of heart disease. Are you finished? No. You promised Hayward. You gave him your word that you would tell him the minute you felt any discomfort. So what did you do? You kept quiet and you intentionally hid your symptoms. I had some twinges that I thought would pass. You deliberately put yourself in danger. You hoped they would pass. Honey, that's like rolling a couple of dice. At least the odds were that my parachute was going to open. And I was prepared to do whatever it took to make you see what you were doing. And if that included hitting the silk, you know what? I would have done it gladly. I got to admit, you know, once we were up there, I had some second thoughts. Didn't necessarily like the idea of putting my life on the line. Unlike some people I know, the idea of leaving you and the boys alone is not a happy one. What, you jumped? No, honey, I fell. You're the one that wants to jump. You still do. For you, getting pregnant again is just like me jumping out of a plane. It's worse. I had a parachute. He's fine. No, you don't have to bring over any soup. That's very sweet of you, though. I will. Okay, bye-bye, honey. That was Stuart and Marion. They were concerned. Well, at least you could honestly say that I'm fine. And you couldn't where I was concerned? No. Tad, I didn't voluntarily risk my life. I had some twinges. I thought they would pass. Okay. Let's say, just for the moment, that somehow you were able to forget all of the warnings given you by the medical profession Okay, that you didn't connect the dots between twinges and total disaster. I feel like you lied to me. I... I didn't lie to you. Dixie, I've got it on tape. Honey, you glimpsed your way through an entire back rub. What do you call that? Tell... No, no, no. Tell the truth. Come on. If you're not going to be honest with me, please be honest with yourself. I am. I just feel like you're taking everything I'm saying and twisting it around and making it much worse than it really is. I'm not. I give you my word, I'm not. And if you don't understand that, we've got a real problem on our hands. One that's not going to go away. If we don't figure this one out, it's just going to come around and kick us in the back of the head over and over again. This is turning into some kind of contest of wills. We've been down that road before. Do you really want to do it again? This is not a contest of wills, Tad, okay? This is a difference of opinion. You know, this is not a betrayal on my part. Just, can you have a little faith? I understand that this is hard for you, but you don't have to put our entire marriage at risk. Wait, 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 wait. Don't get me wrong. Look, I'm not, I don't feel like you've betrayed me. Honey, I know who I'm dealing with. I mean, if, if you were crossing the street with Junior, right, and a car came around the corner out of control, 
He had a split second to react. You'd throw him out of the way. Probably let the car hit you in the process, right? Well, yes, yes. I would put my child's life before my own, of course. Anybody would do that. Why? This is a hypothetical question, no, isn't no, it? No, no, baby, it's not a hypothetical question. It's a pattern. It's you. It's who you are. Because from the moment you realized that you were pregnant, our little girl was so real to you, you were willing to put her life before your own. That was your decision. Well, all right, yes. Yes, my children come first. I mean, that's, that's who I am. I, don't expect me to change. I'm not going to change. Baby, I don't want you to change. That's your heart. That's the woman I fell in love with. An, an amazing person, an incredible mother. I'm not asking you to change. I am begging you not to put yourself in that position again. You want me to give up uh, my dream of us having a child. I'm sorry. I know how badly you want this. No, you don't, obviously. Or you, or you wouldn't ask me that question. Honey. Do you honestly think I want to see the light go out in your eyes. You think I don't know how excited you were? How happy you were before we lost the baby? I was willing to try again. Until I saw the videotape. So it's my fault? Because I covered up the symptoms? Honey... You're right. I, I covered them up. I I just ignored the, the twinges because I didn't want to believe that anything was wrong. I just I just wanted to have the baby. I just wanted them to pass. And they did, and I'm so sorry. The important thing is that you're all right. Now the important thing is that you don't trust me anymore. I swear, I swear, if we could just, just keep trying to have a baby, I wouldn't take any chances with my body. I promise you. Just please don't give up on us, on the idea of us having a baby together. You're going to get yourself all wound up. It's not like we don't have a little time. So we, we, we could still think about it, right? Yeah. We can think about it. Let's just do it later, okay? Can we just put the idea of having another baby on hold for a while? Can you do that? For me? thought like a baby would be the link, you know, that would make us all like a real family. I know. But we don't need a link. We're already a family. I know. It just... It just would have been so nice. So what are you saying? I'm saying that you're right. I would have put... I would have saved the baby before I saved myself. I know. I know who I'm dealing with. Uh, let me finish. If something had happened to me, the thought of you and Junior and Jamie being left behind, you guys all come first with me too, you know? And I never should have done anything that made you feel as if you didn't. I... I hope that we can have a baby. Ted. Someday when my... When my body, you know, can carry a child to term. Healthily. But for right now, and for you, I'll... I'll let it go.